fire, fire number three, big fucking fire. Hell, I don't know what I'll call this one. Anyway, fire will be evolved and probably the word big because this is my biggest one yet. I like it. I can't get close unless I'm throwing shit on it. Then I have to get away. One for the heat. Two because I don't know what's in half of this shit. I'm burning off all this shit that my wife had left. Notice that the pile has failed dramatically. Uh, might make another video when I get it all clean, or I might just wait. I'm probably gonna wait and do another video so I can give like a better tour. Cause I mean, it's like, ooh, this place looks nice. I'm thinking about getting it, Martha. This place looks really, really. The fuck is that? Martha, did uh, did the realtor say anything about shit being piled up all around the front of the house? Well, uh, no, honey, he didn't. Well, what the fuck is that shit then? That looks fucking terrible. Yeah, dog, the landlord ain't never done a fucking thing with this place, so I'm still cleaning his fucking mess, along with cleaning the mess that my wife left. Now, the next question on everyone's mind might be, hold up, hold up, hold up. This guy's talking about the shit that his wife left. Yeah. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I was the one working in this relationship. Therefore, I was the one making payments and da 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 And, well, she spent all of her time on Facebook, waltzing around in the front yard, talking to her friends on the phone. Even though she didn't have no friends, but all of a sudden, they popped out of nowhere like fucking spontaneous combustions but I'm still looking for a job trying to try my damage to find a job because it's not like I'm ever gonna get famous doing this shit but hey I do it because hell it ain't like I got company it's always just me down here and then when I do got company Y'all have already seen the crazy old fucker that's my neighbor. Then my other neighbors, I don't ever hear shit from them, so... After meeting my one neighbor, I kind of want to keep it that way. It's sad when you don't want to be by yourself, but you can't stand ignorance. Because nine times out of ten, that's all you ever going to fucking find. Somebody's going to be... Drunk, drugged out, stupid, think they're smarter than everybody else, like a shit don't stink, da 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 da, etc. <sighs> fuck ever happened to people just realizing that, hey, I'm not as badass as I think I am. Maybe I should try to be more in touch with those who are just like me, except for maybe their skin color bone structure da da but instead of thinking that I'm so much better than everybody maybe I need to try to unite with everybody I I don't know all I know is this uh, this uh, I remember when I was a kid it was always shit going on people getting together horseshoe tournaments golf tournaments basketball tournaments softball tournaments i mean fuck you named it people was always getting together over this shit here in martinsville all we got left is sport lanes we used to have that druid lanes the two bowling alex we had dj's billard club we had skeets skeets had some pool tables I mean, there used to be shit for, there used to be stuff for people to do around here, but not anymore. Now you gotta create your own entertainment, so that's, that's pretty much what I'm doing, cause hell, it ain't like I got the money to do any fucking thing else. Grab my little $30 camera and, well, it is my only friend. It's like Wilson. Well, if I find me a permanent marker, I'll probably draw a smiley face right there. Well, at least Wilson's always smiling at me. But yeah, everybody, I'm gonna get back to piling shit up on this fire and everything, so do what it do. Got much love for all of y'all. God, Mom, Dad, my 
family, countless people I went to school with, like 500 of my Harrisons, Wallers, Daltons. One of these days I'm going to do a shout out video and it's going to be long as fuck because I know a bunch of people, even though a bunch of people don't care to admit that they knew me, much less like me. But anyway, yeah, I got a big shout out list I got to do because I got my friends, my family, God most importantly, people on Xbox Live, people on Facebook, people I'm with the school with. High school, middle school, elementary school, job corps. You know, I remember a whole lot for a motherfucker that cracked the skull and bruised his brain in three different places. But it's it's kind of fucked up, though, because it's like I can tell you exactly what went on about 10, 20 years ago. But if you ask me what happened last month, forget about it. Ever since I cracked my skull, it's just been all fucked up, but... You know how the government is? Oh, he's good. Put him back out there. He can still make us more money. Which hell I'm trying. Because I know y'all getting more of it than I do. Hell, as soon as I get it, I got to give it to y'all. And I'm getting it from y'all in the first fucking place. So, yeah. Uncle Sam's pretty much got us by the balls. Always has. Always will. Not until the revolution ever does actually come, and I don't think I'll see it in my lifetime. I wish. I wish I could finally see the people stand up. I mean, that's like the shit I've seen on the news today. You got countless families going to churches because uh, some of these fundraising groups and whatnot, Salvation Army, people like that, they're realizing it that, yeah, the government's charging stupid amount for school supplies and some people have a lot of kids and well their income is not going to get their kid everything that the kid needs for school so there's like lines of hundreds of people outside of baptist churches i think it was out in lynchburg or roanoke i forget where but yes yeah, seeking free school supplies because they don't have the money to buy the supplies that children need anyway It's all about that mighty dollar. That mighty, mighty dollar. All you got to do is open your eyes to see the corruption in front of you. Think outside the box. Look inside instead of outside for a change. I know the government. <laughs> if I was to ever sit down and actually watch my videos, they're like, that there's a criminal against the United States. To you, perhaps, but to the United States, no. But you motherfuckers are the ones corrupting it. Y'all the ones that's got hundreds of kids living homeless out in California. I'll never forget my trip on that fucking Greyhound bus. As soon as I got to Escondido, California, went outside to smoke a cigarette. First thing I seen was like a group of six to seven teenagers, around 12, 13 years old. Walking the goddamn street was teddy bears and shit up under their arms. My sister finally got there about two hours afterwards, and I asked her, I was like, Sis, why am I seeing a bunch of kids walking the streets with stuffed animals under their arms and stuff? She looked at me and said, Cecil, because they have nowhere else to go. Or they have nowhere to go. And I'm like, damn. That's why no matter how bad my life gets, yeah, it stresses me out to no end, but then when I start thinking about how bad, how bad my life is, I start thinking about how much worse somebody else has got it. That brings me down even harder. But yeah, it's fixing to start raining, so this is Cecil Perkins, a.k.a. CDP Mimic, a.k.a. Worthless Poet, a.k.a. Ah, who gives a shit? Ha! <laughs>